Hey guys, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my channel. Link in the description. There's a button below the video for fuck's sake. What is up, everyone? It's Heart of Diamond here, and today I'm going to show you guys how I remix the soundtrack from Laputa Castle in the Sky. If you don't know what Laputa Castle in the Sky is, it's an anime movie by Studio Ghibli. Uh, there will be links in the description to both the Japanese and the English version. Um, I watch the Japanese version for all the otakus out there. They're like, "Did you watch the Japanese version?" Yeah, I watch the Japanese version. It's awesome. It's like one. It's a one way ticket back to childhood. It's 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 amazing. It's it's one of the best. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's yeah. It's well yeah. It's awesome. Just 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 go watch it after this is over, and listen to my remix because promotion is a thing. No, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. Um, I made it in Apple Studio. It's not that hard to recreate if you want to. If you want to learn from this, there will not be an FLP download. But, um, well, yeah, you can just copy. I will show the MIDI, just pause the video, copy it if you want to. Uh, but let's just go and get started on this, shall we? Um, so the first thing um, I used is a pluck that plays during the build-up and um, the drop. Just go listen to the track if you want to hear the whole melody. But uh, I, I think most of you, uh, most of you know the soundtrack uh, pretty well. Most of you know the melody. I don't have to explain that. Um, and if I do, just go listen to my soundtrack, listen to my remix, or listen to the original soundtrack, and you'll know how the melody plays around. That's not what this is about. This isn't a composition. It's it's a remix. I didn't compose this melody. You can find it on the internet. Um, it's a, a standard uh, Serum preset, uh, modified just a little bit, um, uh, compressor, reverb or standard. Um, I added some extra reverb myself uh, and I added a delay to the sound. That's, that's, that's all I did. It, it, it's not hard to recreate, but I'm still doing this. Um, the next pattern um, are the chords, played by a Nexus pad. It's a trance pad, PD Mystical in Epic Pads. It's a factory preset. If you have Nexus, you can use this sound. Yeah, and that's how it, this uh, pad sounds. It's it's a pretty simple thing. Did I add something? Yes, I added sidechain. That's that's all I did. It's the standard sound. I didn't even equalize it. Uh, this is this is the guitar, I think. Yeah, this this is the guitar. Yeah, it's uh, from Atmosphere. Uh, if you have Atmosphere, uh, it's category guitars. It's mandolin A. <laughs> It's, uh, did I add something? Yes, I did add a reverb and I equalized it. I uh, cut off all the, all the bass because it was really thumping. Um, and you could hear that in, uh, in the track. So I um, cut off the bottom end, which wasn't supposed to be there. The next one is yet again, the melody played by the piano. It's, it's Nexus Red Piano. It's Nexus Grand Piano. It's not a big deal. It's it, it's it's all this track is all presets. I'm not gonna lie about it. Uh, this is the beat. Old trans samples from 2006 from uh, VEC2 uh, UK Trans 4E4E uh, closed head to open 18 and clap 22, which is pre shifted like this. It's it hits just before the beat. That's it's pre-shifted. Uh, it's a pretty basic house trance, dream trance beat. I like to call this this track dream trance, even though it's probably not. Uh, this is the bass. This is probably the only sound in the entire track that I made myself. It's uh yeah, it's some kind of reese bass. I don't really know how to call it. You just Get a sawtooth, unison, um, put a filter on it, get a compression, boost the lows, 
eliminate the highs. Um, and I added some sidechain, it's pretty basic. I didn't even EQ it afterwards. It's, it's not hard. Um, this is the sidechain trigger. And these are the choir chords. Yeah. This is the choir. It's a, it's a Nexus preset again. I don't know how to synthesize a choir, but it's classical choir one for everyone who wants to know. That's that's basically it. Uh, did I add something? I added sidechain to the choir. That's it. It's it's not hard. Uh, this is the piano chords. Uh, did I add something to those? Yeah, sidechain. Because in the second drop, those play. This is the build up. This is the build up snare roll. Uh, it's cashmere uh, from cashmere volume one, hard snare four. It's uh, yeah, not hard. And this is the end of the snare roll. Uh, yeah, these are equalized right now. No, 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 I don't want this. Uh, I have to. It's a snare buildup, it's a filter and a volume envelope, it's it's simple. Uh, the next one, uh, I actually first wanted to add a synthesizer lead which didn't make it into the final, to the final track. Because this track, um, you know, it's, it, the original soundtrack doesn't have any synthesizer at all. It's, it, it was pretty hard to decide uh, what sounds I did and did not want in this track. I didn't throw it out. Because I thought, you know, maybe it's cool to show you guys. I actually really designed this sound myself, I think. Yeah, it's a self-made sound. Uh, it's... One of my pretty standard leads, actually. It's a lead sound that I uh, used in a lot of tracks. I used it in For the Fallen, Cimarron, uh, my bootleg from Monte Capelli Touch has that sound. Uh, I don't know uh, every single track that has it, but those tracks have this sound or a similar one because I always create it from scratch. Uh, I've, I actually avoid saving presets. I uh, actually don't save my own presets. If I know how to make a sound, I'd rather make it from scratch to have it be just a little bit unique uh, due to human error, to make it just a little bit different than, than the other tracks that have the same sound. And these are the, what's this? The violin chords. Uh, this one actually, actually plays in the bridge. Um, let me show you. Um, diamond i need some symphonic elements in my tracks <laughs> no but uh i actually really really um you know this part really wants a violin really wanted a violin i could add a synthesizer chord and make the second drop be full-on trance but i didn't i added a violin instead to make it something orchestral and the final thing is what's this oh this is the the bell lead for the drop no wrong tempo <laughs> That's the thing if you use tempo envelopes, you have to move this one to get the right pattern to play at the right tempo. Yeah, I, uh, I decided on bells for a lead instead of a synth. And why? Because there's another track I made, uh, it's called Nala, it's on my... It's on this channel on my old alias. Uh, the track, you it doesn't use bells, but it uses a similar sound as a lead. And I really, really started to like it later. And the final hour uses exactly the same bell sound in the lead, actually. Now, a lot of people, they add where uh, if the lead is a little bit silent or they add some going down bells or bells going up. But the bells are the lead. Uh, so now that we uh, have gone over all the elements, uh, let's listen to the drop. No, with build up. Part of the build up.
gets enough though. But um, well, it's a pretty long drop. It takes like <laughs> two minutes to get to the drop from the start. Uh, those first four bars where it's silent, those are cut off because that's just pre-silence to get everything lined up. And in the end, it's no longer lined up. But um, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. I it's the longest track I've ever uh, produced. I mean, it takes two minutes to get to the drop. The drop takes three three and a half minutes. You know, the drop itself is an EDM track entirely. It's there are EDM tracks um, that are over when the drop starts. That's pretty mind boggling, actually. But those are the radio edits that have eight bar drops, and this has a uh, 32, 64, 64 plus 32, 66, 90, 96? No, 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 90, yeah, a 96 bar drop, I think. <laughs> this is a 96 bar, uh, well, the drop itself is, the climax itself is 64 bars, and then a 32 bar after climax, which is just a cool down section from after the drop down to the break. It's something I use in a lot of tracks that have like 16 bars of drop, 16 bars after drop, then another breakdown. It's, 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 it's something that I learned over my years in production uh, to make. Um, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you want to see more, uh, more, how I, more how to make videos or how I made my tracks, uh, just put it down in the comments. Say, I want to see more of this. I mean, this is the second video um, where afterwards, if you want to see me produce uh, in real time, I could do, uh, maybe I could do another stream. I have some unfinished tracks that I want to finish. Maybe I can do that on stream again. I don't know. But just let me go. Let me know what you guys want. I mean, I'm here for you. If you want, you name it, I make it, if possible. I mean, it's not like if you want me to make porn, I'm going to make porn or something. But, you know... Uh, Anything that has something to do with music or gaming or roller coasters or cars or anything, anything I'm personally interested in, if you want it, I will make it. It's, it's like that. But um, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe with the buttons down below. Hey, remember in 2015 when everyone put links in the description where you had to click on to subscribe? That was like crazy. Hey guys, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my channel. Link in the description. There's a button below the video for fuck's sake. No, but seriously, it's um, if you like it, like, subscribe. If you want me to stop, leave a dislike down below. <laughs> no, but seriously, see you guys next time. Goodbye.